What is up, my Squirtalites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Ghost of Tsushima. In the last episode, we did one final favor for Fune, who went out of her way to rescue her daughter. Unfortunately, though, we're going to be catching up to Fune over this way. We're going to start this episode off with just a little bit of closure in a couple of areas here on Iki Island before we go back to Tsushima. So first, let's talk to Fune. Forgive me, Loki. The grave. Is that your daughter's hairpin? I robbed it from a Chinese trading vessel. Something about it reminded me of Toki's eyes. I gave it to her years ago, when she was still a little girl. I'm surprised she kept it. Even in the end, she never forgot you. Now she's at peace. The last gift I could give her. Okay. One more thing. So, we're going to be heading over to Helping Hand, which we haven't still completed. We need to catch up with the guy and see how things are going on his house. Friend. Where are you? Oh, you're literally sitting right here. Hi, dude. Welcome. Here you are. This whole journey, and I never asked your name. I am Imotaro, and you are Jin Sakai, who freed us from the eagle. Like building this house, I figured it out on my own. If it's not too bold for me to say, you should be as proud as I am. You built this house too. There, supporting the roof. That beam came from you. You can't see the hides, but they are there, beneath the thatch. And that corner there, that stays standing because of the metal you found. Believe me, I tried without. Set me back a week. You once told me you never built anything. Now you can say you have. And with this house, I can build a new family, like the one I never had. Thank you. When I saw home burn, it was here on Iki. I did nothing then. This house won't make up for it, but it's a start. Helping hand is complete. And I do believe that marks Iki Island as done. Charm of Iron Grip, you, your aim will never shake or force a shot. So you could probably just hold it forever. So that's pretty darn cool. I guess if it takes you a while to line up shots, that might be a useful charm. Being a minor one could also be very useful. But, guys, we're going to be heading back to Tsushima. And I found out that there is actually a very easy way to go back to Tsushima. You don't need, like, some crazy cutscene or anything. All you got to do is go up here and find the way back. But... If I can actually find where I'm supposed to go properly, I'm going to be going to Dawn Refuge. Now, if you remember, this was where we started this series of episodes for the expansion. This is where the game takes you once all is said and done. This is where Ghost of Tsushima sees its ending. I already took the time to explain my thoughts on the game and really hasn't changed with the expansion. That was kind of just more of what I already liked about the game. It's additional content. There were a couple things that were better than what we saw throughout the main game. But aside from that, I don't really need to go over my thoughts once again. So tell you what, I'm going to let Jin end off this Let's Play with a bit of reminiscing as we start to go through everything in this house. And then we can call this Let's Play complete once and for all. First the Mongols. Now the Shogun. I never imagined I'd be so popular. Miriko helped me pick these for my mother. I can't believe she kept them all these years. I wish you were here, Uncle. The twin mountains of Clan Sakai. I won't let my family fade from memory. Lady Masako lost to everything and everyone. If she can keep moving forward, so can I. I lived under these banners most of my life. Taka's trial run before he made my grappling hook. He didn't want to. 
disappoint me. And he never did. I used to think I only needed a horse, a bow, and my katana. Kenji's best. Or so he tells me. I have to share it soon. How long did it take you to make this? I owe her everything. She's the one giving me gifts. You should be here, Rizzo. Trading stories. Getting drunk. <sighs> you were faithful to the end, Kage. Knife. The blade's dull. Can't believe it's still in one piece. For most of my life, I dreamed of being your son. But you promised he'd teach me to play the horagai, so we can signal each other across the island. Jin Sakai is hereby an official student of Sensei Sadobu Ishikawa. What have I gotten myself into? Tomoe didn't need this anymore. I hope she found what she was seeking. There's a lot to unpack with this game. A lot to go over. This was, I think, one of the most enjoyable Let's Plays that I personally went through. There's not really a whole lot to be said about it. And I guess there's one more thing that we can leave off when Jin examines that in a minute. But there's not really a whole lot left for me to say. I've kind of said that all that needs to be said. But I think this was a very good Let's Play. I enjoyed it greatly pretty much from start to finish. There were very few moments where I got genuinely frustrated or wasn't enjoying my time with the game. It's, it's just such an excellent game. It really is. It's solid in so many ways. I will say that I don't think that outside of the actual combat, this game particularly is, like, oh, and I guess the art style too, but there's not really a lot of things that are like, it's best in class, but it didn't need to be. It doesn't need to be that kind of game. It is, it's special just because it accomplishes what it set out to do. You don't really get that out of video games nowadays. So many of them try to be so ambitious. And this one... I mean, it's ambitious, certainly, but not for not in the same way that so many other games are. It's just here to tell a story. It's here to do one thing and do it particularly well and make the rest just serviceable. And sometimes that's all a game needs to be. I had a wonderful time with this game, and I implore everybody to check this game out. Definitely play the PlayStation 5 edition if you can. I've heard rumors that there is a PC version on the horizon. If that's the case, absolutely check it out that way. Sony has been almost perfect with all of their ports thus far. The Horizon Zero Dawn port was probably the one exception that was kind of crap, but the rest of them have been pretty excellent. So you really kind of can't go wrong there. Now, Jin, what is this about? Fallen at my family cemetery. Beautiful. Guys, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this Let's Play very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one.